Hello and welcome to NetApp KB TV. Today we'll be looking at the changes in the way the default export policies are implemented, how this impacts NAS clients, and the difference between cluster data on tap 8.1 and 8.2. This video is based on NetApp KB article 8010199. For data on tap 8.1, if no specific export policy is assigned to a newly created B server or volume, it will create a default export policy. This default export policy does not have any rules. In data on tap 8.1, export policies are enabled for both SIFS and NFS access. This results in behavior that looks something like deny all connections for SIFS and deny all connections for NFS. The default export policy without rules is enabled for SMB by default in data on tap 8.1. Starting with data on tap 8.2, export policies are not enabled for SMB access. This resulting in behavior that SIFS connections will be allowed for all and NFS will be denied for all connections. In data on tap 8.2, export policies can be enabled or disabled for a specific V server. It's done like this. Set privilege advanced. Say yes. Now we are at the advanced mode. Let's see how to enable the export policy. V server saves. Options modify V server V server name will give it as student one hyphen is export policy enabled true to enable it. If you want to disable the policy, same command and is export policy enabled should be false. Let's now check whether the export policy is enabled or not on the vServer student1. vServer, SIFS, Options, Show, vServer, is our name is student one you can now see that the export policies for SIFS is enabled let's now go ahead and disable it V server saves options modify the V server server name the student one is export policy enabled say false. Now let's check the status again. It's false now. This is the Windows client. Now let's see the status of the share. Student 1 is a V server. Yep. The share is available on the client. Let's now go ahead and check in the Linux host. Let's try to mount the NFS export on student1 v server. So it's going to be student1 called in student1 underscore NFS is the export.
uh, access denied. Let's now go back and check in the uh, controller. Let's enable the export policy on the Weave server student one. V server saves options modify V server student one hyphen is export policy enable let's make it as true now, now that we have enabled the export policy we'll create a rule export policy rule create on v server one policy name let's give it as student one underscore new client match zero dot zero dot zero dot zero slash zero I'll rule any uh, w rule any protocol NFS protocol NFS Let's now go ahead and create export policy. Create on V server one policy name student one underscore NFS. Now we'll create a rule export policy rule create on the server one policy name student one which we already created client match zero dot zero dot zero dot zero slash zero R rule any RW rule any hyphen protocol NFS and enter now the export policy is created. Let's assign this export policy to the volume. Wall modify. We server student one. Volume student one underscore NFS policy. Student one underscore NFS. Now we have successfully assigned the export policies to the volume. Now that we have created the export policy and export policy rule, let's try and mount the NFS export in the Linux host. Mount the server name student1, export name student1 underscore NFS and the mount point. Yeah, it's mounted successfully. Note that in a system that has been upgraded from data on tap 8.1 to 8.2, it will retain the behavior of data on tap 8.1, which means that export policies are enabled for SMB access. If you like this video, we would love to hear from you. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Also don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.